So welcome to Iceland, we're so excited to be here. So we just picked up our car from Lagoon Car Rental, which is epic. We've got a nice Land Rover. Last time in New Zealand, we had a Defender. They look so cool, but they honestly are the most horrible cars to drive and be in. They're just so rattly, old and uncomfortable in any way possible. So we've gone for a nice modern one this time. So we're in Iceland for the next 10 days just exploring. So first of all, we're gonna do the South Coast, which is the incredible waterfalls and all the usual kind of touristy stuff. But then we're gonna head up to the West Fjords, which is one of my favorite locations because like 95% of all tourists don't go up there because there's not a massive amount. It's more like these incredible fjords and these kind of odd little locations, which is just so pretty, but with no one around. So it's, it's kind of a little bit more special than those amazing waterfalls, but crowned with people. But it's time to get on the road. Okay, so we landed in Iceland last night. As you can tell, I'm super excited about that. And this morning, we were able to meet up with Gunnar, who is literally one of my most favorite creatives on the planet. His work, I feel like, captures the spirit of Iceland as well as anybody's. I mean, he captures the spirit of this place as well as anyone captures the spirit of anywhere. His idea for composition, his processing, everything is incredible. So, after we uh, were checking out his new studio space, which is right behind us right here, and after that, we we're gonna have some lunch and then head down to the south coast for the next four days. I don't know quite what we're gonna get up to, but it doesn't really matter. Just being here is enough for me. Hey guys, my name is Gunnar. I'm also known as Icelandic Explorer on Instagram. I live in Iceland and I do travel and adventure photography in this beautiful country. I work as a professional photographer and I do photography for a number of companies here in Iceland and abroad. I love to explore Iceland, but actually I grew up in Denmark uh, and I lived there for most of my life. And three and a half year ago, I decided to quit my corporate life and sell all my stuff and move to Iceland. And the idea was to rediscover my Icelandic roots um, since my parents were Icelandic and my entire family was Icelandic um, and I've been coming here uh, during summer and Christmas for most of my life and I always felt this deeper inner connection with Iceland. A fun project I'm working on right now is actually opening up a studio slash creative workspace and as you might have guessed we're actually sitting in it right now. So this here is going to be a photography studio slash co-working space for um, people like me, so other content creators and photographers. Me and one of my friends are doing this together and we'll be open to travel and adventure photographers, writers, videographers, bloggers, all kind of people wanting to come to a place and meet other inspiring people. One of my favorite pictures is the picture of the church Hatkimskirka, which is a church here in Reykjavik. And it was captured a little bit more than a year ago during the most epic snowfall in 100 years in Iceland. So I woke up and went to check out the window and I saw this unbelievable snowfall. I've never seen anything like it. And already then it was like this much snow and it just kept on pouring down. Uh, so I thought what better to do than to go out and capture some beautiful pictures. And while I was standing on this street with the perfect lineup for the church, this couple just decides, were well, they holding hands, just decided to cross the roads. And I saw that they were just about to cross. So I just pulled up my camera and 
boom, one, two, three, I just got that photo. And it turned out to be quite a, a game changer for me. And this photo got picked up by the local media here in Iceland. Uh, and then it got picked up by media in the UK, BBC and other places. And it just started spreading out from there and it got featured all over the world. It really helped me in my photography and, and put my name on the map. So we just got to Salandafoss and this is one of the first places you will see on the uh, south coast of Iceland. It's a major tourist hotspot, but you can exactly see why. It's like the Yosemite of Iceland. It's just incredible. So we're waiting out sunset and at last it's cleared up. So the waterfall is directly over there and we're looking for really, really beautiful shots of the sunset happening with the looking through the waterfalls and maybe some outlines of figures and that kind of stuff. It's a really great location. So having seen photos of Salandafoss, I had showed up there with one particular shot in mind, but something else altogether happened. We decided to wait for the light to shift and made a detour to a smaller, lesser known spot and we kind of climbed through this little cave entrance, it was ankle deep water and as we, as we got inside we turned around and we were greeted with some of the most incredible light I've ever seen. Um, I've also never been so wet shooting landscapes before. It made it really hard for us to vlog in there and to capture um, such a dynamic experience on camera, but it was also one of those moments that we just had to experience and actually take it in for once. 